But then Moors are going to push that as a perspective of how you can get yourself out of slavery. Moors saying that um, Moors are United citizens. Selling them out again to the 14th Amendment. Getting them to do things under the guise that the people who we're dealing with are the government. Those guys are imposters. Those people who are out there pretending to be prime ministers, presidents, whatever like that, they're imposters. They're not, they're not really the officials that we should be dealing with. And as soon as the people realize that, oh, they're not really who, who they're supposed to be, and, and then they're, they're looking around about, okay, well, who is the put? you. If it ain't them, then the only other people that it could fall on is the people. But if people have no status, if people don't have no profit, if people have no flag, people have no nationality, if they have no thing that ties them, then, then they're stuck. So I, the prophet, am hereby calling aloud with a divine plea to all true American citizens to help me to remove this great sin which has been committed and is being practiced by my people. Remove this great sin. What's the great sin? Deluding to names that that make you a slave. Right? Who wants to remove that sin? So the orders were set in place by Noah Juali that the sin of deluding to these slave names is going to be removed. And the European is taking him up on his claim his divine warning and removing them by force. And they are recognizing that these people are carrying out the prophet's orders because the Negro problem has to be solved if the Negro is not going to solve it himself or herself. If they're going to play like they don't have to do anything, all they have to do is just, you know, be black and die and stupid stuff like that, then that's what they're going to do. That's all that's coming for. Any um, comments or? Mm. Um, I've been talking a few things just right from my mind. Um, one of the issues I have is that these people are insane. And when I say insane to the point where they're, they're looking for something, some type of relief, but they're doing the same things over and over that's been done by, uh, by quote-unquote black people for mm -hmm. as long as we can remember. And the fact that they're doing that, it pretty much puts them in a deeper hole because people are looking at them like it's not going to work. And as far as the people um, who claim their nationality, saying I'm Asian or I'm Chinese, and then saying I'm for black people yeah. or Black Lives Matter, pretty much are not helping them either. They're actually putting them in a deeper hole because you can't have a nationality knowing what it stands for, knowing what it represents, and then tell the people who you're trying to support that we support what you're doing, so stay in your little realm and be black and be ignorant and so on and so forth because it just doesn't make sense. It just seems that these people are not aiding the situation. Right. You know, like, as, because in my head, I'm thinking, okay, well, if the prophet was here now, and he was at that function, he wouldn't say, I'm a more, a Moorish American, and Black Lives Matter. Yeah. Everything that right. he says, if you're not this, that, and the other. And if these people truly know that they're not this, that, and the other, they're not Negro, Black, or colored, then say you're not Negro, Black, or right. colored. Say you have to have a nationality. Don't go in that circle of emotions and you know this person's getting shot and this person's you know getting hurt. But then, but then you're just leaving them out in the dark, like you're just leaving them for fathers. So you can't have a nationality, right? Yeah, you can't. You can't really have a nationality and go and defend the people in the right. cemetery. They're already dead. You're wasting your time. Exactly. So you really have to tell them or just shut yeah. up. No, but but see that, and, and that's what we're saying, that mm. that that them doing that is <laughs> promo yeah. for them. For right? them. Yeah. They're, they're doing that, they're doing they're not doing that so that people can can say can 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 say um oh the Asians support Black Lives Matter, oh wow, look how you know what I mean? They're doing that for themselves. Mm -hmm. Right? They're not they're not trying to make a point mm -hmm. to the world. Right. 
You know, and then, they're doing that for their self because they know that something's wrong. Right. They know that that's their brothers getting shot up right there. But they're contracted with Canada and U.S. that they can't tell them certain stuff. Right. So they'll, you know, they're, so they're, now, they're gonna be in it. So, so now the, the issue, you know, then, then you have a darker cloud in your karmic debt. As far as yeah. these people, not, not necessarily being, because because, because, they're, because, they're, because they're, symbolically they're, they're, telling, they're telling them right. Our right. people are too blind to see what what they're being told right. in their right. face because we see it as soon as we see that sign. Right. Like, oh look, they're declaring the nationality. They tell me what it is. Right. Right. But the same same thing that our people should be. Is that, oh, uh -huh. How come they're not saying yellow? Yeah. It should be it should be a conference. Yeah, but, but like, hold on, we need we need to we need to stop the Black Lives Matter for a second. One and we need to go over here, we need yeah. to talk for a second. Because everybody who supports us says nationality for Black Lives Matter. Right. You never yeah, but, but what I'm thinking that I right. was getting at, which is you guys have gotten right back to the same point, is that the so-called people that we whoever are looking up to sort of for for our our, our basis of information, they should be making it very clear that black should have nothing to do with the, with the, with the human species. Right, they should, but they can't. Well, they can if, if they can't. They're, they're, going they're not in their own land. They I'm can't. Talking, I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about even the so called European who has been told that it's over. And that it's time to start waking people up because if not, then it's going to be a terrible day. Yeah, but yeah, but they are. What, what do you think? Karen Hudas and all these people are are are, are um, um, yeah. William Cooper, <laughs> William Cooper and Rick Smith and all these people. What do you think? But what, what I'm saying to you is, those are all people that have been considered on the fringe. Really, what has to happen is through sort of through what you call mainstream. This shit should yeah, be. Yeah, what did happen to the mainstream? Ain't no mainstream putting out there that these people are Mars. Why not? Because they do it in their movies all the time, and these people still not listening. They do it in their TV shows. They had freaking um, everybody hates Chris come out, and they did a Moorish, a whole Moorish thing. Everybody had fezzes on, vests on, in the whole show for the whole show. Right. Well, they seem to they, they, show. they seem to keep putting leaders there that um that I, I, I assume don't know anything about the law or anything. But oh, they, 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 they know everything about the law. law. These people like, are like, they, they like the normal moms and, 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 and dads and stuff. Plus, they read a book that says, that emphasizes how important the word is and how a word, like, you know, in the beginning was the word and the word is God and stuff. Plus, plus that Bible don't say that we're black people or whatever. That too? You know, so why are they calling themselves, why are they calling themselves something that, that is not written anywhere except for... In their Except for in their, TV in their imagination, if, if I may add this as well, that the if, if you look at the, any of the literature from the prophet, it's already laid out. One, he said, "Yo, Moors are hard-headed, <laughs> stiff-necked people." Right. <laughs> Two, he said, "Yo, this is for the young and the unborn." And three, he said, "Listen, Moors ain't gonna change or learn nothing unless it's at the, top, the point of a sword." So my thing is. What that tells me is okay, we should be focusing on the young and the unborn, the children who are coming up. Because the older people are already way stuck in their ways, they're hard headed and stiff necked. And if we're not willing to pull out a sword, put it on a man's neck, and say, listen, you're a more, and if you don't claim more, I'm chopping off your head, then you know, we're, we're, wasting, we're wasting time. Because they're hard headed and stiff necked. So we should be focusing on the youth, they're focusing on the children, they're focusing on the unborn. Right. Exactly. It's kind of hard when, 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 um, when you're focusing on the, the children, or particularly one at a time or whatever, and everybody that's around that child is saying, yeah, I know, trust saying, me. yo, <laughs> don't tell the kid this, and you know, yeah, yeah, this kid yeah, don't know yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, know, I, know, I know. You know, saying that you're talking craziness, what I do is I, uh, saying to read a book and stuff. I tell <laughs> them they do. Oh, really <laughs> yeah, but check it out. Like, I, I, so I'm a, my nephew, eight years old, and um, I would um, give him like a little piece of, uh, I give him some fiat every now and then, but then I'd also give him some silver and i show him, yo, this is real money. This is fiat. And so he's always, always remembered that. So you come over and be like, um, Uncle Tesla, can I have some, some real money? So I can't give you real money right now, you don't know you have it, but um, you, do you, you still have the one that I gave you? But yeah, I have it, you know, I have some real money. And I also have this money. He's like, what is this? I'm like, it's fiat. 
You know, that's, that's, I said, that goes up and down. But this real money is more stable, it's better. Mm -hmm. Now, the same thing I'm telling him, that's more science, right? Yeah. But it's the same thing that if you go on the right news networks, they're they're right, the that same stuff. Same yeah. stuff. Same stuff. And even in the, in the mainstream ones are starting to have to, to, to come along too. So it's yeah. not like there isn't things that we can't tell them that anyone, uh, you know, the, the, the layman can argue. I mean, they can, they can argue, but you Which know what I mean? Yeah. You just turn the TV on them and just tell them, yo, what are you telling me is to, to not tell them what the experts are saying? Get out of here. Right. <laughs> you know I mean, right. the cultural stuff, yeah, it's going to be kind of difficult because we get sensitive to that people. But at the same time, again, there's always references. Uh, I know there ain't enough room for a handful, of, more than a handful of people. So I'm in that handful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so you got air up there and see, just, and that's what it's about, man. It's, uh, yeah. You know, you can't, I mean, people are going to have to die. Let's say we have to die. <laughs> that's what yeah. it is. You know, you really Man, he has to live on and somebody has to live. Tell the story. So you got to tell the story correctly. And I think the Moors will be doing that because we're fighting against the current that just keeps on getting stronger and stronger and then the boy just downside. Fighting against ignorance. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, it's like we talk about people getting injured. That's no Buju Ali. He's the one who said, I, I set a ball in Babylon and I let it roll down the hill. So if you get in the way, <laughs> you're getting crushed. That, that's what I mean by it's already been written. Like, it's, already been, it's already been foretold. So when I see these things, I'm like, well, these these are the people that are going to be grown. Confirmation. More you know I mean? confirmation. Yeah, so I, I, I was in that phase where, you know, I was pushing hard to win people up and then you realize you push hard enough. And then you go to, let's say, a hundred people and nobody's hearing you. You realize, okay, then, you know, like, the, the way I'll drop, a, I'll drop a jewel, if you pick it up, just like for me. And I heard it, it made sense to me. If you say something to somebody and it's, and it's for them, it's going to make sense to them. You're not, you're not going to have to convince right, them. Right, exactly. You're not going to have to convince them. And I think that's what everyone in this room has in common, that when oh, yeah. we heard it, the, the prophet's word just matters. It just clicked. Yeah, so it's just, just, just pulled in my chest. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it clicked, man. Yeah. I've Can't been forget on it like, I get the sense, man. And then that's and then that's why that's why he didn't draw. You said, you know, my sheep know the sound of my voice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, like, those that were with me yesterday or with me today, those that are against me yesterday or against me today. Mm -hmm. so put put the stuff out there so that everybody. Is not in secret. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't know which squad to go on. Mm -hmm. The only one to be on. It's like um, mm -hmm. the, the, um, this uh, brother that um, this unconscious boy that came and tell me. Mm -hmm. This brother tell him about it. Yeah. This brother told him about it, and he come and he tell me about. It. And here am I. He yeah. dropped me here already, yeah. but he never come here. Yeah. And he's the one that always. Yeah. He's the one that knows about it got, first. Who got it yeah. first? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And when he <laughs> tell me about this man, I said, bring him. Yeah. I don't even want to hear no more. Bring him. Because this is like something I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. I'm that's waiting it. to find him. That's it. And that's why I think people need to really focus on that. Like, you don't waste your time trying to convince them. No, one. because yeah. that's what they are. Because yeah. I said, until yeah. now, he dropped me off here once again. <laughs> never came in. And he still never came in here. Yeah. And he's the one that was like on it and telling me. Mm -hmm. And I said, bring that man. Bring him. Yeah. And, and here, here I am now. Yeah. And he's still. He's still in the dark. Like, you know, yeah. And, and that's the level of that's the level of the brainwash. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the level of of the um, the lack of the doors open. Um, just the one yeah, the, the lack of of willingness to, <laughs> to be free. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? They're stuck in whatever it is that they're stuck in. You know what I mean? So once once and again, it's not a thing of you know not drop jewels or whatever. You know what I mean? You're gonna tell them. You're gonna because with, with us, you know, this is not some school of thought where, you know, we take days off or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? There's no day where we're like, <laughs> so I'm not going to be a war today. <laughs> I'm going to go, you know what I mean, be something else. And then, you know, maybe tomorrow we're going to be on the, you know what I mean? So 